But what's up you guys, it's the Donna. So I had a question asking me about my schedule and if I'm still able to actually like spend time with my family and do all of those good things that I loved initially. Um, and so that is what we're gonna be talking about in today's video. Do I have time to spend with my family? Let's get into it right now. What's up you guys, this is Adana, welcome back to my channel. So if you haven't already done so, take a look around. If you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe. Um, if you're new to my channel, thank you for joining me. I'm gonna be answering a question by Bree Ram, and she asked me if, um, now that I'm a PA, am I still able to keep weekends for myself, or do I have to go to work? Um, also, what is my schedule like currently? Is it flexible, and do you have to get someone to stay with your kids a lot, or do you spend most of the time with them? And so, that is the question that I'm gonna be asking um, or answering today. I made a video before about like what it's like to be a mom in PA school and just in general, um, you know, like going through this PA role with kids. And I talked about my Sabbath and how I didn't study on the Sabbath. I kept like, you know, the weekends really to just kind of hang out with family. Um, and really and truly, I still for the most part get to do that, but I do, there are like a couple concessions that I have to make and so I'll address those in this video. So first and foremost, what is my schedule like? You guys have heard me talk about my schedule like time and time again, um, but I work three 24 hour shifts in a 14 day period. So um, as a trauma acute care surgery PA, we are on call for 24 hours in the hospital. So I will go in like today, like I will have been at work from around like 6.30 in the morning and I will get off tomorrow, Monday morning, um, around like eight o'clock, depending on how long our sign out runs. Sign out usually happens at 7.30. We'll run through all of the patients that we have on our service, new and old, talk about the things that are essentially keeping them in the hospital, um, any overnight events, we'll address those and our plans for the future. Uh, so that is what will happen and that can take a long time as you can imagine if there were overnight events or significant things that happen or we have really sick patients on our service we'll have to address all of that. So that's typically what will happen from like 7.30 to like 8, 8.30 um, and, or longer depending on, on what's going on. So I will get off of work around like 8.30 or, or 9 o'clock, depending on the day, and then go home. And sometimes if I have a good night, like if I'm able to catch a nap in here and there, like even if it's like an hour nap, two hours nap, overnight, I might be able to have a little bit of energy throughout the morning to get things done. And then I will like crash around noon and probably wake up around like three o'clock. So that is typically what my day of work and then post day of work looks like. And I only do that three days and 14 days. So I will do that this today, like this Sunday, um, again on Thursday and again uh, next week like Sunday or Monday or something like that. It just depends on, on how my schedule runs. So that's usually what will happen. So as you can see, I have like all of these pretty large gaps in between the time when I will have to work again. So my schedule is pretty flexible. Um, and even if it is something that I may not necessarily like, like maybe I'm working like, you know, today, um, and then I'm working Wednesday or I'm working Tuesday and then I'm working Thursday because that does happen where you're like back to back to back but then I'm off for an entire week after that. Maybe I don't want to do that. Maybe I do want to spread it out. So I'm, there's always, there's like 16 I would say of us on service just so that we're able to rotate thoroughly. Well, I think we're a little shorter now but just so that we can rotate thoroughly so I can always ask one of my colleagues if they would like to switch and if it's a good switch, mutually beneficial for the both of us, um, we'll make that switch and then I can, again, you know, get the days that I want off um, or the days that I want to work, I can get those as well. So that is always an option. So yes, very, very flexible um, is my schedule currently. Do I keep my weekends to myself? Um, for the most part, yes. You know, I have um, my religious accommodation because I am a Sabbath keeper. And so I don't work like sunset Friday to sunset Saturday. So I 
always have that day off like Friday and Saturday I always have off because I can't really work um, truly like half shifts like yes we can pick up half shifts but they can't schedule me to just work a half shift it just doesn't work like that we have to work 24 hours so um, I don't work Fridays and Saturdays so that is always off um, but since I don't work Fridays and Saturdays I typically work almost like every Sunday uh, but I will definitely work like every other Sunday just so that I'm able to like cover for the colleagues that do have to work on Saturdays or Fridays. So yes, my weekends are to myself, my family. Um, we do go, you know, still go to church, still like hang out and stuff on like Friday night and Saturday during the day. Um, and then I'll work the following Sunday and then I'll be off on the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday maybe. Uh, but my time and my family time is very important to me. So I still get to kind of cherish that and hold that. Now, when it comes to do I like have to have people watching my kids? No. Um, so my kids are now old enough where they're both in school. Yay! So excited about that. Um, so because they're both in school, um, they're in school from like 7 to 3.30. No, I'm lying. They're in school from 8.15 to like 3.30. So uh, because of that, no, I don't need anyone to watch them. Um, on the days that I work, which again is typically like a Sunday or something, um, you know, they're at home with my husband. He's not like going off to work on the Sunday. Uh, and he works from home, so that's like a blessing as well. Um, that's like a huge blessing. So uh, when there are days that I work, he's at home and he's able to take care of the kids. Um, on the weekday my kids are in school so there's not any need for anyone to watch them because they're being watched by the school essentially um, and if it is a day that I'm coming off of work you know like let's say on Monday if I go to sleep on at 12 and I wake up by 3 like they're still they're there I can still like hang out with them or even if I wake up at 5 sometimes like Sometimes I sleep a little bit longer. Um, I still have time to like watch a show with them or go do something with them or build a fort or I hear them read or whatever the case may be. I still get to be present and there with my kids, which is great. Um, so I still love my schedule. I still love working 24 hours. Um, some nights it's very grueling and taxing on the body and taxing emotionally just because of what you're dealing with. Um, but really and truly, like the 24 hour shift is so worth it it's really it really really is especially if you have kids you can really really bog down and have that time where you're able to truly cultivate a relationship with your children because you're present um, I know that some people like the five eight to fives um, which I guess can essentially work if your kids are in school as well you know like during the hours that they're gone you're gone as well but um, I like being able to have my days off and so that's really nice I like being able to go to Target at you know 10 o'clock in the morning and you know go shopping at like 9 o'clock in the morning if I want to um, because there's not that many people doing that at that time of morning and the stores are kind of empty and I get to just chill and I like being able to do that by myself and not having like little kids run behind me you know and I can stroll and do my own thing and so there are some perks to uh, my 24 hour shift, but that's typically what I do. Um, I think I've, I've done videos on what the 24 hour shift looks like. So if you want to see that, um, you know, you can check out those other videos. If you want me to do another video about that, just let me know, leave a comment in the comment section below. Um, this coming Tuesday, I promise you guys, I'm going to do the this or that for occupational therapy and physical therapy. If you want to see something else, um, you know, like the differences between two different specialties as a PA or two different um, specialties um, or careers uh, in the healthcare field because there's so many just let me know leave that in the comment section below as well all right thank you Brie for your question uh, if you guys have any other questions for me you already know what to do leave them in the comment section below thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't already done so like this video subscribe and follow me on Instagram at Adon the PA and on Instagram at get that C University I will talk to you guys next time